Hello, YouTube. I am wandering around Yal West. So far, so good. I've gotten several arcs. I have enlisted my poor beleaguered boyfriend to get in lines for me while I wander. So, I owe someone dinner. <sighs> so, I found a one quiet spot where I can talk to you guys. There is a line I am in right now to spin a wheel. <laughs> it is the Disneyland of book festivals. Hey guys, it's Brandy. Hi. Hey. <laughs> I'm getting her arc of her new book, Finding Yvonne, and I'm so excited to read it. It sounds amazing. Thank you. I'm uh, so excited you're here. Yay. <laughs> Yes. yes. Like, what? Guys, <laughs> hi. My nerd heart is exploding. <laughs> oh my, look. Did you see? I didn't know they were giving out the arc yes. of the Dark Descent of Elizabeth Frankenstein and my nerd heart can't take it. <laughs> Only 20. Um, who am I signing it to? Amanda. Amanda. Right. Normal spelling. No P's or Q's or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Guys, look. It's yes. Ben Rice. Hello. Hi. <laughs> He is the author of both Nemesis and Genesis. Those ones, they're really good. He writes an incredibly terrifying apocalypse. It's pretty bad. A lot of people die. A lot of people die. It is genuinely horrifying, and I like loved it in his twisted brutality. It was awesome. Awesome. Yay! Ooh. Hey guys, look, it's Julie Dow. Hey everyone, how's it going? Yay! She's the author of Four So Thousand Lanterns, and it's beautiful. Saying that, Amanda. I love it so much. <laughs> hey guys, it's Claudia Gray. For being awkward and strange. <laughs> it's the best kind of people, really. It's my specialty. It's, yeah. It's my wheelhouse, as they say. Yeah. Defy the Stars was one of my all time favorite books of 2017, and Defy the World is also amazing. Oh. So I'm super excited to get it signed. Oh, I'm so, so glad that you've enjoyed, I mean, particularly the new series. Um, this book, can you believe it's 10 years old almost to the I day? I know. I know. I'm like, where did that, where did that time go? I don't, I don't even know. believe it. Okay. I think every adult thinks the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I think so. And also, I still feel like I'm just starting to figure this out. For sure. It's like, wouldn't I know more after 10 years? No. no. Every book you write is your first book. Yeah, I, yeah. I actually say that sometimes. I'm like, you don't learn how to write books. You have to learn how to write each, each book. book. Exactly. You know? All right. All right. Hold on. Yay. Hello, YouTube. Um, so as you see, to my this side. I don't know how it's going to look like on camera. Uh, I'm in a line that's very long, but I really want to get this arc, so I'm standing in a very long line. It is the line to get the arc of Grim Lovelies, and there's also cookies. So, I mean, I'll do a lot of things for cookies. Uh, this is a very long line. Here's my box. That's where I am in line. And it keeps going. Very long. <laughs> this is for Becky Albertalli, but hot damn, I'm gonna stand in this life for Becky Albertalli. Hello, YouTube. So, I have been in the Becky Albertalli line for over an hour, and I'm still not at the front. <laughs> like, I got that to go, and then you can't see it because it's too sunny, but like, there's probably a good 50 people in front of me. This is bonkers. <laughs> so, I have now been in line for two hours. The front of the line is so close, but yet so far. Two hours, guys. Two hours in line for Becky Albertalli. This is now an endurance test. Guys, guys, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's Becky Albertalli and my nerd girl heart is exploding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, oh my gosh, it's Ransom Riggs. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, as you've heard me say many times, the Peculiar Children series is amazing. It's one of my favorites. You're being so nice. I know. I'm not even lying. <laughs> I feel rude because I have to look down. It's okay. It's okay. It's my job. You're, you're very studious and working hard. <laughs> But yes, I love this series, and I've been trying to meet Ransom for years, and I'm so excited right now. And I've met, ta I've met Tahra many times, but not you, sir. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you officially. Oh. Hello, YouTube. I am home now from Y'all West, and it was quite the day. <laughs> I was there literally all day, 
like I got there at 8.30 in the morning and I left it like at 6 o'clock at night. It was a long, long day, but amazing. I got so much cool swag. I got like, like 15 arcs. Holy crap, like 15. And I had a really great time. And this year was like the coolest because I had a press pass and I felt real fancy about it. And I gotta wear my badge all day. So, I mean, it's really not that fancy, but like it made me feel fancy. And yeah, thank you guys for coming with me to the festival. I had a wonderful time. I met a lot of cool people that I'd only known from the internet. Now I know them as real people. And I got a lot of cool stuff. I met a lot of cool authors. And yeah, it was just a fun time. Hello, you two. Um, so Y'all West was yesterday, and this weekend is crazy because there's so many book events, and I'm going to several. Here's that in the line behind me because I am at Roman's Bookstore in Pasadena because, holy crap, guys, Chuck Palahniuk is going to be here. <laughs> I got tickets in advance because I have been a Chuck Palahniuk fan for many, many years. Um, in case you do not know who that is, he's the guy who wrote Fight Club and many other books. Like, I'll be honest, Fight Club's probably not my favorite book he's written. My favorite book he's written that I've read is Lullaby. Fun fact. And today, we're here for his new book called Adjustment Day. And I'm so excited. I'm freaking out about it because I've been a fan since like, I was in high school. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, there he is. I'm so excited. Hello YouTube. So I just met Chuck Palahniuk and it was awesome. Um, they didn't want me to film during it, so I did not. But I'm at Romans right now, which is one of my favorite bookstores. So I want to kind of show you around so you can see all of the awesome stuff that I love about this right place. Now we are at Romans upstairs because it's a two-story building. And this is like the young adult section. And it's pretty great. Lots and lots of stuff. This is like sci-fi and fantasy and over here is more like contemporaries and like stuff that happens in the real world <laughs> okay so good news and bad news <laughs> the thing about romans is that they always have amazing books and authors really like to come in here and sign copies of their books and so i always find books i want <laughs> Which is great, because hey, I love finding amazing books, but the bad part is that my poor wallet can't take it. I've already grabbed two books that I know I want to read. I have The Darkest Part of the Forest by Holly Black, and I have The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Adier. And I want to read them really bad, and I won't, I'm gonna just, uh, I'm probably gonna buy them. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with me. It's just, I need to stop buying so many books. <laughs> Look at this. These are just a couple shelves out of all the shelves they have, but these are all signed. So you can just get signed books, like all you want, all of them, look at that. They got this one, Haunting in the Deep. That is the sequel to How to Burn a Witch. They got Blood of a Thousand Stars by Rhoda Beza. They got, oh my gosh, they have a Poison Dark and Drowning by Jessica Cluse which I highly recommend. I also recommend Shadow Bright and Burning because it's awesome. And I actually just met Jessica Clue, so I'm not going to buy that because I've already bought it. We got Burning Brightly by Alexa Dunn, which is a brand new book, and it's basically uh, Jane Eyre in space, which sounds amazeballs. And even hidden down here, they got some autographed John Green books. Hey, that's cool. Okay, so I was just walking along, and I saw this Tahara Mafi section, and I noticed these two books are out of order and I'm a crazy person and every time I go to a bookstore and I see things like that I tend to go around and fix them because I just have to <laughs> but now they are in the correct order so you're welcome Romans overall Romans is an amazing bookstore and I love going here and I'm walking away awkwardly because there's people around and they don't know that I'm vlogging. They just think I'm a crazy person talking to their phone. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. So I am at one of my favorite bookstores right now, which is The Ripped Bodice. And they are having a launch event for the Royals by um, whoever wrote that book. I can't remember right now. <laughs> Nothing Hawkins. <laughs> 
Hey YouTube, so the Rip Bodice has the most adorable little like store dog named Fitzwilliam and there he is uh, showing his wiener <laughs> because he is the king of the store and he's a wonderful little guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Rip Bodice, it is a wonderful, wonderful place. This is their paranormal section, which like is my jam, obviously. And then you come over here and they have like pretty lights and they have this bench in case you guys haven't been able to see in the video oh my gosh the bench is made out of books whole potatoes seriously everything's so pretty they have all these books that can fly and all these cool displays and neat stuff it's like really one of my favorite stores ever and it is America's only romance only bookstore and I just always love coming here so much and then the girls who own it, B and Leah, are adorable people and oh my goodness. I turned the corner and hello Edward. <laughs> so the bookstore also does this really cool thing where they have all these books that they wrap and then they write like a little blurb on them and it's a blind date with a book. <laughs> So you just like, oh, that seems like an interesting concept. You buy the book sight unseen, and you got a brand new book to read. Sometimes the blurbs are just really funny, <laughs> and like other times they're actually like tell you a little something about the book. But it's just such a cool idea. I have to have my moment. <laughs> <laughs> Are going to talk all things like rom-com yes basically we're trying to single-handedly bring back the pink book yes that's <laughs> for, uh, for our yes. mission for pink books hey guys Hi. look <laughs> we're at the launch party for the royals and right now we have these lovely ladies signing them i didn't bring Allie's books though so Not i'm just i'm just having book plans <laughs> my crowns guys crowns people crowns Woo! <laughs> Hello YouTube. <laughs> I'm in the car right now because I forgot to film anything else at the store, so I'm in the car. Um, I had such an amazing time this weekend. I got so many books at Y'all West. I got to meet a lot of cool authors. I went to the Rip Bodice, which I need to go do a whole video at and maybe even interview B and Leah because they are awesome ladies and their store is amazing. And I just love everything about it. And I had a really great time today meeting Rachel Hawkins and Allie Carter. And it's been a weekend of many events and many bookstores and lots of books. And it's just like really cool time. So yeah, I've been, <laughs> sorry I'm shaking the camera because my body does not work always. <laughs> but anyways, what was I saying? I was saying that I've had such a lovely weekend and having so much book time and I'm just really excited that I got to do all these bookish things and I got to take you guys with me. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a like and if you want to see more videos, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys soon.